from Las Vegas. This is day one. I will show you what I'm looking at. It's not that great. Hotel room view, meh. And it's cold and rainy in the desert. Who knew? I hate to sound so sour, and this is not the way I want to start off the vlog, because this week is going to be amazing, except I'm sick. Like during the flight, during my long flight, London to Denver, where I connected, halfway through I was like, mm, mm, uh-oh, 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 and I have just the head cold. Because Wolfie was kind of snotty a couple days ago and I looked at Sam, I was like, I do not want to get sick. And I loaded up on all this vitamin C and zinc and copper and I thought I was just flushing my body. I was like being really healthy the last week. <sighs> it got me. What a bad time to be sick when I have to be on camera a lot. I'm jet lagged and have to be nonstop for eight days. So I'm so bummed I feel like this going into the first day. Um, the weather's not helping. It's really depressing outside. And I didn't know I had anything on camera this morning. My producer said, yeah, we have to do a Sky Sports News hit when we go pick up our media credentials. I was going to go in like sweats. I haven't washed my hair yet. Mm, one more thing. I have a monster. Okay, of course the camera's not picking it up. I have a monster of a pimple right here on my nose. So much so that on the flight, it misshaped my nose. It was like a mound. And I'm just looking there. I'm <laughs> on my long flight. I'm feeling sick. I'm already homesick. I've got so much ahead of me, and then I've got like the biggest pimple I've ever had in my life. So I tried to pop it, like nothing came out. <laughs> so facial when I get there to have a, a proper extraction, like the steam machine, a needle, like I need someone to exercise this pimple out of my face. So I booked one for 10 a.m. this morning and have to cancel it because now we have this hit and have to go pick up our media credentials. Luckily, it's kind of going away on itself, so that's a silly story. But overall, I'm just not off to a great start, and I want to be honest, I would love to come in down here and just be like, Vegas, woo, here we go, but it's not the reality right now. Hoping that by the end of the week when I'm feeling better, and my skin is better, and I'm on the time zone, and I'm well rested, I'm going to look back at this and be like, man, Monday sucked, but we did it. We did it. We powered through. One assignment at a time, one event at a time and just getting your ass dressed, putting on a face of makeup, which, oh, if you've ever had to put on a full face of makeup when you're feeling sick and your head feels like a balloon and like you feel like you have water in your ears and your nose is stuffy and your throat is sore and your eyes are puffy and sore, putting on makeup is torture. I don't wanna tell my crew I'm sick because then people get nervous. <laughs> and also they just, you don't wanna just come in like a wet blanket. So I wanna come in with a lot of energy. So I'm gonna go downstairs to the Starbucks and get like the Trenta size cold brew. God bless being back in the States, baby. We've got big ass sizes of cold coffee. So let me show you what I'm wearing day one. I got these new tall, 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 tall black denim from ASOS. Um, I will link those. I linked them in the last one too. Wow, are they amazing. They are so tall. I think I'm gonna get them hemmed when I get back. Um, a black boot, a cream turtleneck from Zara. I actually did bring this camel coat with the bag. Here's the final look. So can't go wrong. Just a bunch of neutrals, um, things that fit really nice and look very sleek. Day one, pray for me. It's so cool they have these slot machines right there. Do they work? Okay, we've made it to Radio Row. We picked up our credentials. Scouting out the place, we're going to be doing a hit for Sky Sports News in a bit. Here is day one. God, pretty quiet. <laughs> I've seen this place like rocking. Quiet, sleepy first day. Still fairly early, too. Hit of the day. Been off three. On my way to the gym. I'm really pleasantly surprised at how nice this is. Finally, feels like I can breathe. <laughs> Okay, this may be my best hair ever. <laughs> I don't wanna be dramatic, but whoa. You know what I did different that I never do is I did rollers. I did Velcro rollers, so I curled it, and while it's still hot, I immediately threw some rollers just in these front pieces, and I'm just so happy with like how unringlety they are, you know? Okay, here's the fit for Super Bowl opening night. I did this little teal blazer dress from ASOS tortoiseshell buttons, love that, so I'm going with brown accessories, my favorite Louboutin boots, and my first little Gucci Diana in the Jumbo G. 
So I feel like this outfit has kind of like a 70s retro vibe, but we are filming so much tonight, so I really wanted to like bring it with an outfit. I am feeling a bit better. I got a workout in, that felt good. Took a long hot bath, um, but purposely did not take a nap because I just want to go to bed at like 8 p.m. again. Okay, I'm running late, bye. We don't travel light, now do we? Rain has stopped. Headed in for media tent. Let's get a bit closer. That's everyone doing their live hits with the stadium in the background. I always take these things for granted because I've been around the TV industry my whole life, but I think a lot of people wouldn't realize that. Pretty cool, that's the actual Super Bowl field that they have been growing and working on meticulously and they will roll that into Allegiant Stadium. Hey, here we go, the belly of the monster, loading dock. Coming up onto the field. Please hold my bag. <laughs> Daddy, if you want to set that by my coat. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I think I can pull it off. Yeah. yeah I'm sure I have to give me a line. Bye. Bye. Nothing except for a bitch. Yeah. Give me a bitch on the end, it's lovely. It doesn't look bigger than the Super Bowl. And as for New Vegas, she's just getting started. So what if you go to walk on? Maybe you keep walking. Yeah, I've got one. It's kind of cute. <laughs> They pay me to talk, they don't pay me to walk and talk. <laughs> Nothing exemplifies the evolution of America's entertainment capital more than hosting its flagship sports event. It doesn't get much bigger than the Super Bowl. And as for New Vegas, she's just getting started. It is 8.23 p.m. and I am in bed. My voice feels hoarse because it was so loud in there. I felt like I was talking with everyone and just yelling. I ran into everyone I've ever known or worked with, which is so fun but so overwhelming. I just felt like I was in some weird social experiment where they turned up the noise really loud. Like fans were in the stadium for this event. I don't know if it was free or what because they can't really hear anything. Because every player is at like a podium. Anyways, we did so many interviews. I got the head coach, Andy Reid. I got the GM, Brett Veach, all for the Chiefs. I got uh, the owner, Clark Hunt. I got to see the Hunt family, Gracie Hunt and Tavia Hunt, who I love to see. Plus I get George Karloftis, a defensive end. Yeah, my voice is hurting. I still feel really sick and I'm just so tired and I'm not on the time zone at all. So what's the cure for this, you may ask? A little bit of housewives morning this all starts again i have a 9 a.m interview i have a 10 a.m chiefs media thing that's like 45 minutes away and then i have a 1 p.m interview and then i have a 2 p.m interview so like again go 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 would love to squeeze in another workout because that felt really good today and i'm so glad i didn't nap good night now we're at the cbs press conference there's jay feely gene sterator tony romo jim nance are up there we're going to interview her in just a sec. Things are actually thinning out. So this is the room. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. On Sunday, you can catch the CBS feed of Super Bowl 58, of which you'll see the best commentary of the game and see this guy right here, Tony Romo. Tony, thanks for joining us. Now, I've got to say, you've had the Chiefs in their last two playoff games. I know you're a Mahomes fan. What kind of gear shift do you see in these last two games from Mahomes? I think the biggest difference has been Andy Reid's play calling mm. and simplifying, but I think Mahomes, he's almost in that like perfect little spot in his career where he knows enough information to be dangerous while he uses his, his athleticism. So right when you're young, you're just kind of like using all athleticism. Now he knows the game. The AFC Championship game, you ran down to the field and you guys were embracing. I think you thought you were off camera, <laughs> but you were there enjoying it with Mahomes. Do you remember what he said to you or you said to him? Nope, I don't remember. <laughs> but I, I do that every year because yeah. I, 
I always wanted that moment, yeah. and I wasn't able to like have that moment as a player. Aggressively take the shot over the mm -hmm. top, but you don't sit here and be passive. You go take it. You got to go take it to beat the Mahomes. Well, our viewers at home who are going to watch you on Sunday are going to pick up on your enthusiasm, and you just touched on why it means so much to you. Tony, thanks so much for your time. We're looking forward to Sunday. Thank you. Tell Sam hi. I will. Back to you guys. That's our squad. Squad looking good. Squad looking good. I just can't shake this. And I'm going about and I'm doing all the things, and tonight is my first like night out, and I'm doing like this media party. And I just feel like I'd love to get in bed. I'd love to take a hot bath and get in bed. I, which sucks, because if you're not, it doesn't matter if you're going, like just checking the box. If you're not having fun and you're clearly not feeling like yourself, it's just like not worth it. But this is one of those things I feel like I have to go see some people at. It's like the whole NFL media welcome reception. Um, and it better be good, because I'm wearing my new outfit that I love, and I wasn't sure which night to do it. If I even use it on this trip or save it, we have an event the week we get back. I'm kind of thinking, but how great is this emerald jumpsuit with the tuxedo collar? And I even said to Sam, I love that it has this little detail because a lot of women, myself included, hate that like armpit uh, part of our arms, <laughs> those armpits. And so this has like just a really flattering cut right here. So you don't have to worry about that. Anyways, I just love this jumpsuit. I'm doing this like sparkly kind of open toed heel. I paired it with this vintage Chanel necklace that my mother-in-law gave me actually. And it's like chunky and heavy and I just felt like the outfit could handle it. Like it added kind of a cool element and something feels kind of Vegas-y like fighting, like a boxer. I don't know why I'm getting that vibe. Maybe the silk reminds me of like a boxing robe. I don't know even what I'm saying. That probably doesn't track at all. Um, but anyways, I love the outfit. I really hope that I can rally and like feel good. And have fun today. I'm getting drinks with my friend, Sherry Burris. She's an NFL Network reporter. We go way back to when we were both young reporters in Atlanta. And then she was in Washington when Sam played for the Wizards. So we reconnected there. And then now we're both new moms. Anyway, she's lovely. So I'm excited to see her. Um, and then I'm just going to pop at this party for a little bit. I'm exhausted. I feel sick. I'm jet lagged. I'm so freaking congested. And I feel like I have liquid in my ears. Like my head just feels like a big old balloon. Anyways, no one wants to watch someone or hear someone talk about how sick they are. But I will link this. It's from the eighth sign. And I'll try to take some footage at the party tonight. I know, I'm like the only person who's still. It's for the vlog, girl. Say hi. Yeah, oh, you're oh, yeah. look at your cool Vegas background. You have like a Lovely. Camera. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about a girl who has range. I am back in bed. I've got my compression socks ready to go on. You know after wear, you wear heels, your feet get like all swollen and sore. Bring compression socks. It's like the best advice. Sleep formula from Dr. Ross J. Barr. This is like ashwagandha based supplement. Um, Dr. Barr as well, sleep patches, face mask. Y'all, I can't hang. I was gone maybe like two hours tonight and I'm just beat. I'm not doing so great. And I'm really trying just like forge ahead. And as you saw from the video, that was an awesome party. It was three stories at the new F1 paddock. I guess you'd call it a paddock, would you? Um, anyways, it was amazing. Like amazing food and drinks and bars everywhere and performances everywhere and any reason to <laughs> indulge and stay. And I just pff, kept thinking about getting back here. <laughs> Then tomorrow we are up nice and early to go to Chiefs Media. Um, we're leaving here at 6.30 a.m. And right now it is, I think, not even 9 p.m. It's getting late. Gotta go to bed. Early morning start for the crew. Hey, Alex. Hey, Olivia. How are you doing? A bit tired. You had a big night of...
stripper dancing. Yeah. <laughs> Pole dancing. It's Justin Bieber on the. Yeah, yeah. buttocks, thighs. <laughs> Just lower body in general. <laughs> Upper body too. That pole strength. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Here we go again. <laughs> and downs throughout this season has made this team uh, a lot closer and want to play that much harder for us. Travis, when Patrick came into the league, he came into a, a team that was already successful and set up for success. Do you think he would have become an all-time great regardless of where he'd landed, even if he'd landed in the He's a once-of-a-lifetime player, man. When you, you put that guy on a team, he naturally makes everybody better. So uh, I, I got confidence he would have been Pat Mahomes no matter where he ended up, but uh, the Pat Mahomes and Andy Reid special is, uh, is unique and uh, definitely one for the ages. Joined by star cornerback Trent McDuffie. Last time we spoke was in Frankfurt, yes. and you guys got the win in Frankfurt. Now you've made it all the way to the Super Bowl. What have the highs and lows of the season been, though, between that last meeting? Man, honestly, lows got to be just any loss we've taken. You know, um, we don't play to lose, so anytime you get a loss, you know, it leaves a sour feeling. But honestly, my favorite thing about this season has just been the way we fought. It's amazing you guys got the underdog story when you're the reigning Super Bowl champ. You came in as the favorite to win the Super Bowl. You somehow still make it here. What changes in the playoffs for the Kansas City Chiefs that makes you so unstoppable? We've been here before, many times. And like I told a lot of people, playoff Patrick is a different Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Time. We got okay. time. We got time. Okay. Don't tell me that. Never tell someone with mics like that. Okay. All yours, guys. Good stuff. Yep. Three, two, one. We are back at Radio Row, and I'm joined by quarterback Baker Mayfield. Baker, you're Pro Bowl MVP. Congratulations. I've got to say, watching that footage, when your wife Emily even posted this, you felt childlike, like you looked like you were just having a ball, throwing the football in the backyard. Yeah. Was that your overall impression of the Pro Bowl? It really was. Just to see guys in a different atmosphere, to see competing with you. The great last time I saw you, which is in Detroit, I know you guys didn't get the win. You scored three touchdowns, 349 passing yards. What kind of taste in your mouth did that game leave, and then with the Pro Bowl in back? Uh, just the Detroit game. So close. I think we were right there. I agree with Ravens. Just to, to finish up this. Uh, what do you know about Patrick as you look at what he's about to do? And he's in this situation quite a few times now. Obviously, he's a stud. So can't be doing whatever you want as a quarterback. Well, I mean, obviously, Sam Grant's good, but it's, it's crazy to count the Chiefs out. Thank you, Baker. Good luck with your agency. Back to you guys. Okay. If this looks familiar, it's because I have to put this outfit back on because we're shooting the open of the feature that we shot two nights ago. So yeah, my crew was like, yeah, just put on, make sure you wear the same outfit again. You know, it's just funny. They think it's that easy, right? Like it has makeup on the collar, just a mess. Gotta put these big boots back on. The things you do, a little TV magic. We're actually going to the Neon Museum, like a boneyard of old signs, so that's pretty cool. It'll be a really cool backdrop for the open of like a Welcome to Las Vegas thing. I'm excited for this feature too. It's like the feature that's in the pregame show that I'm doing is all about the change of Las Vegas. Opening line, this is such a cool fact. 20 years ago, a marketing department came up with the phrase, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and they wanted to debut it in a Super Bowl ad in like, what you know, must've been around 2004. And the NFL wanted no affiliation with Las Vegas. They declined the ad. And now, look how far we've come. There's a Super Bowl in Las Vegas and an NFL team in Las Vegas. I decided to put on a dress I wore two nights ago. Lizzie McGuire, you are an outfit repeater. Okay, let's go. When the lights go down, I see hell in you, but you don't care, no, you don't care.
It's all in the head. It's all there. I'm on a beach. Right, um, yeah. so day whatever it is and I've got this cute little houndstooth set on from Giovanna London how cute is this I wore the white version of the jacket the other day and I got it in this fun green white checked with a white resist mango this is really nice for mango I got I love this turtleneck so much I got it in two colors because it's a really good turtleneck height and I'm a turtleneck connoisseur so I know these things. Also, I'm losing my voice. A little Gucci sneak. We're just going to Chiefs practice. It is 6.30, I've been up since 5.30. Another long day, I have to rush back here after Chiefs media. I have to do a, a stand up up there, interview Patrick Mahomes today, and then um, rush back here and do my MGM show. And then tonight is NFL Honors. So today's another busy one. Let's go get my big Trenta cold brew coffee. Just playing the game, uh, understanding that I don't get the ball out of my hands because these guys can, can really get out to the passer. You know, this stage a couple of times before. What makes this Super Bowl so special to you compared to the other ones? Yeah, I think just the opportunity to have a back to back championship. I mean, I got. When you work with men, they don't understand what it takes to do the whole thing. We just got back to our hotel room. We had Chiefs media availability this morning, like left 6.30. I can't even remember if I shot this then. I think I did. I can't remember this morning. It's only 11 a.m. and I can't remember a couple hours ago. And then I raced back here, did the BetMGM show, and then we are gonna go shoot some feature hits for another feature and I you know, have this cute little outfit on and this is my outfit for the day. And they just said, oh, you have to put back on your outfit from Monday night. It's Thursday. And it has to look like we shot this all on the same day. So that was Monday night. And remember, I already put it back on last night to shoot that feature. It has now makeup on it and deodorant on it. It's just gross. I've had it crumpled up in a laundry bag, that laundry bag. I, I need to iron. <sighs> men do not know this. I love the men I'm working with. They do not get this. They think it's just like, oh yeah, let me just go change. No, brother, that would take like another hour. I just keep getting texted to do more and more things. And I still have to get ready for the red carpet tonight, which is like, a whole shebang and we're leaving for that in like two hours and they want to go shoot this in between y'all I need two of me I need two of me and one of them needs to have her hair up and one of them needs to have her hair down <laughs> help me do I seem more relaxed because I am more relaxed I just had a beer out of a plastic cup in a bath towel in my hotel room and turns out that's exactly what the doctor ordered <laughs> oh no we ended up canceling doing the feature hits this afternoon, we're gonna do it tomorrow afternoon, which means I have a chance to get my dress washed and pressed before I wear it for the third time. And tomorrow I can have my hair ready for that shoot. Um, a silly thing, but still a thing. So I was able to actually go have a meal and like sit down. There's this noodle place in our hotel. I got some noodles and on the menu they had uh, Kirin beer, which I love, a Japanese beer. And so I got a big Kirin light. I forgot how huge it was. Couldn't finish it, so I got it to go. And I came up here and took a long hot shower, warmed my bones, reset my day, and I'm feeling much better. <laughs> I needed food and um, the bubbles and coldness of the beer felt so good on my throat, which is so sore. Then I got a big Trenta uh, iced coffee again, and now I'm about to start getting ready. But um, just wanted to update uh, on the afternoon that I'm I'm not a psycho and I'm not losing my mind. I just needed a beer and some noodles. Picking up media credential at NFL Honors. Here we go. All the TV production trucks, there are risers in there with fans already cheering. Awesome. Hey, Elvis. 
The only person in less sequence than me. Only in Las Vegas, baby. Wow. just wasn't kind. And I feel like we might be on the same page for Sunday. I, yeah, I, I like know. your Niners. I do. <laughs> but this just feels, I don't know, and it's fast. Cover that up. A little flex. Just Cover a little that flex. Up. Not a big deal. <laughs> Did they tell you what you were doing? Or they no. They just said, do you want to drive a car? And I said, I don't know if I should drink and drive, but okay. It's just a NASCAR simulator. Okay. <laughs> Peter, he's drunk. Don't let him drink and drive. Okay. I can't, uh, but I will tell you that every time I think I've got a, a feel for what direction it may go, I, I find a counter on the opposite side. Uh, both of these teams have got ways to get at the other, and I think that what's make, it's going to make it uh, as good a Super Bowl as we've had. Olivia, what is the, the, the passion level? Uh, Channel 106, coming your way. Is this madness? How dare you not <laughs> And welcome back in to Super Bowl Drive here on Super Bowl 58. Okay, I have not checked in much today. How are we doing, Pete? I wanted to show and link this jacket from the eighth sign. It is a British brand. I've been trying to do like more British brands lately to show some love. These navy trousers to match the navy lapel, um, just to give it a little bit more, you know, kind of glitz and glam feel. We have some drinks now for the NFL International Committee or party or something. And then um, I'm going to the Westwood One reception with my dad and then to dinner and then I'm getting my ass to bed. Time is unfortunately he doesn't ever get excited enough about an event. But hopefully this event will get him to the level of excitement that we could all hope to see from him. Um, again, truly one of the great voices of sports in America. It's great to be associated with him. It's great to work with him. Our voice of Super Bowl 58, the award-winning, the award-winning. <laughs> Kevin Harlan. Thank you, Scott. And thank all of you for being here. And I am uh, so wonderfully happy to be working with these people again. Okay, it's officially Super Bowl weekend. It is Saturday. It is sunny. I am so excited. This time tomorrow, I'll be at the stadium for the Super Bowl. Here's today's fit. I am dressing up these jeans I've been wearing all week 
with these really fun, extremely tall shoes that actually make the length of the pant kind of work. We're headed to Allegiant Stadium to do a live hit. All the other hits I've been doing all week have been what we call as lives in the biz. So you just kind of nod, thank you, blah, 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 and they use it as if it was live. I guess that's pretty self-explanatory with the name as lives. Today's actually live. Um, it's gotta be on my game. Then you go downstairs and get my big Trenta cold brew that I've had two of which every day. So if you're having two Trentas a day, what is that, a sick tenta? I don't know. And then I'm getting lunch with a good girlfriend, Casey Hosmer. I'm really excited to see her. Um, she used to live in Kansas City, working local news there. She's been all over. She's with Fox News. She has a podcast now. And she's here hanging out, so we're gonna have lunch. Today's a pretty chill day. And then tonight I just have dinner plans with my dad, um, getting drinks with our team. Um, so today's more social, really. Hey, dog. Hey, how you doing? Well, it's finally the day before the big game, and this is the day that players have been looking for for hours. It is packed now. You see jerseys all over town. The Super Bowl has finally week. <laughs> and then tonight, their final team meeting. For the 49ers, the star of the defense, Nick Bosa, will address the team. Doesn't get much more Vegas than this feathered blazer from Zara. Dress, like, oh, I do not want to put on a dress. My spray tan is worn off, my legs are pale, and it's cold. So, yeah, I'm doing these pants for the millionth time and just like a kind of boring black boot. But I just feel like this is so fun. I'm just going to dinner with my dad. Um, so, he thinks I look great at anything. So I figured if this part's fun, whatever. The place we're going is amazing I'm so excited I've never been it's called Mayfair Supper Club and I think he's gonna be here any minute to pick me up and just ready for the game like the, it has felt like we have been here for a month and like the Super Bowl is finally tomorrow and I'm just like ready for the game and like enough enough hoopla does that make sense although tonight's dinner will be nice tonight's dinner will be some hoopla I'll try to film some I'm not sure if I can film in there hey Night before the Super Bowl. I know it. It's a tradition unlike any other. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Oh. Did you see yeah. this in the horse tradition? I saw it. <laughs> yeah. Super Bowl Sunday, baby. Super Bowl Sunday. This is my first time covering the Super Bowl, like the actual game. I've been to a million Super Bowls. I've covered the week of Super Bowl, which may be even harder than the actual game. The actual game is just a game. And that's what today's all about. I am so excited. My uh, body is pretty gone. We've been here for a week in Las Vegas. So we have a lot to catch up on. Um, right now the sun is rising over the mountains in Las Vegas. It is beautiful. Let me show you. Kind of see over there. Anyways, it is 6.30 a.m. I got up at 6. I took a long hot shower. I tried to do a lot of here. See, my natural sunlight's coming now. Thank you. I'm gonna set my day up. Just feeling really fresh. Um, I have a makeup artist coming here in a bit. My coworker Phoebe Schechter at Sky Sports is coming over here so that she's gonna glam up the two of us. Hello, what I'm doing right now is actually a very typical and kind of sums a lot up. I'm getting some um, videos sent to me from not only my marketing team who have been kind of compiling and helping me edit um, videos to post from all the content we've been getting with players and interviews and everything. Um, I've just been too busy to edit. Usually I do my own editing. Thomas. Transfer of a file of an interview I did with Baker Mayfield. I'm also putting on some band-aids on my feet before the big day as I have so many blisters from all these shoes we've been wearing. This is not foot content, by the way, so don't get too excited. 
This ain't that type of movie. I ain't that type of girl. Oh, these parties have been fun, but you know, just like physically, you get exhausted from like getting up every night and it's Vegas too. So it's like the whole outfit, the whole shebang. But today's what it's all kind of come down to. So you have to rally, you know, you have to rally. Okay, something else that I want to talk about is I'm doing the game, um, not with my dad because we're on different networks, but we're the first father-daughter to work a Super Bowl together, which is very, very cool, and I'm very excited. Um, my dad is Kevin Harlan. He has been in the industry for, gosh, 40 years? Probably longer, because <laughs> I'm 30, so I'm just doing some quick math. Um, and he has won National Sportscaster of the Year for the third time, and that was just announced last month. Um, I'm so proud of him. He's, I think, the best in the business, but a lot of other people think that too. And everywhere I go, people tell me, like, your dad is the best. He paints a picture. He makes a game come alive. When he's calling a game, my family turns it on. Like, I just have, especially here all week, I've heard the nicest things about my dad. So that's been really fun. Last night we got dinner, and we got to just celebrate this moment and appreciate making history together and also appreciate the time together. As I live in London, I don't get to see my family here in the States so often. So that's been very special, going around doing interviews together and um, like just really enjoying this unique, unique moment together. I mentioned we have had very long days, early mornings and long days, and I've been running like a health club in my hotel room. So I wanna show you a couple things, cause I'm a healthy girl, I like, I like staying healthy. I like supplements. I like little tips and tricks and um, hydration. There's no way around it. That's your best friend. So I'm just mixing up like an electrolyte drink mix. And the brand I've been liking on this trip is 310 Nutrition because look at this variety pack. Lemon Lime is my fave. Um, it is, they're 10 calories or less. No caffeine, non-GMO, electrolyte blend, vitamins, sugar-free, and no artificial sweeteners. So I just love this. I just feel like I can't hydrate at the rate I need to be. So I've been doing a couple of those a day, which have also helped my energy levels. So it's not just keeping you hydrated. It just makes me feel better. What have been amazing to help get over the jet lag are these sleep patches. I discovered these in London at Soho House, actually. I was getting a massage, and my masseuse recommended this to me, Ross J. Barr. These, they're all herbal, and I just, like, stick one on my neck or on my temple or on my back. Okay, love these, and helped me beat the jet lag pretty quickly. These are same company, but they are, like, to help if you're sore in an area. And for me, this whole trip has been my lower back. So, I'd like to find my little witchcraft things. And then I've been doing some face masks here in my room, like at night. This just has made me feel like I'm beating the system as it comes to keeping my skin plump. There's a little sneak peek at my Super Bowl outfit. I'm very excited, but that's all you get. God, this is so quick. I'm running out the door, but look at my makeup. I'm so thrilled. Oh, I love it. She did such a good job. Ashley was amazing. And then I just did my own little party pony. Um, I put in some rollers to try to get some volume. I think I might fiddle with it when I get to the stadium, but we've got to go right now. And then let me just show the outfit really quick. Here is the outfit from ASOS. I absolutely love it. You guys saw me try it on. Um, on the last vlog, so you already know the deets. I love it. I will link it. It's in the video description. Gotta go to the Super Bowl! Good morning, good morning. Like the glamour of 
of it all. Living the dream. Scott, Scott, Scott lives in there, actually. We let him out every okay. once in a while. The gimp, release the gimp. <laughs> Everyone excited? Everyone feeling good? Can't Yay. wait. Yeah. Look how we ended up doing this kind of silver gold thing. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Sparkly. Yeah. Well, we're in Vegas. Okay. We're in Vegas, baby. We have we'll an 8.30 performance tonight. <laughs> Fifi and I do. Sure. At the Copacabana. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> for headlining. Da, 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 da. There you go. You got da, 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 it. <laughs> that was pretty da. quick going into that Barry Manilow. Yeah, well. <laughs> that's all I need to go Feed feeds moment. Thanks. Do you have any other food? Nice. <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. no. <laughs> just need to eat. Can you, do you, what do you want, want feeds? No, this is Oh, so. um, I'll take a filet mignon, a bottle of. Okay. <laughs>
58, Kansas City wins. Hey, that's a wrap. Chiefs necklace on. I didn't wear it all week, but seems like on the travel day home, that'd be kind of appropriate. Headed out wearing this cozy earth sweater. I got this in two colors. I love it so much. Softest, nicest thing to wrap up in on the plane. And anyways, thanks for following along. If you made it this far, that was a long week. I have no idea how I'm going to edit this much content, but I've got a lot of time in an airport today. Still no voice. Um, next vlog is this coming week. It's Monday right now. I land in London on Tuesday and on Sunday, we are going on a little family vacation. Somewhere warm, beach, European, sexy, just me, Sam and Wolfie, and I'm so excited. So that's the next vlog. Stay tuned. Bye guys.